This show is all about perspective. And all about what we see when we zoom out. Hang, Hang on, on for, for the, the loop. loop. Four, three, two, one. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. Ricky, you know what is super weird when you think about it? Oh, that our eyeballs are the fastest muscle in our body? No. Oh, oh, that we have trillions of bacteria in our body and miles upon miles of blood vessels. No. I don't know, I got nothing. Okay, so think about this. We're sitting here filming this, mm-hmm. but the editor who's going to be editing this footage later already knows what happens at the end of the episode. Whoa. She can see the entire timeline that we can't see. This is huge. With her view, I could snap my fingers and she could skip to the end, like this. Wait, so that's how the episode ends? Yep. Uh, and so, and because she can see everything in the timeline, she knows how we got there. Yeah, man, it's weird. What got you started thinking about this? Well, we're talking about how big God is and how he can see things that we can't. Yeah, God is so big that sometimes it's hard to understand how he sees things that we can't see. It helps when we have definitions for the big words that we use to describe God. Hey guys, it's Jerry with Jerry's Varied Berries. And I've got all kinds of berries. I've got raspberries, blueberries, and grapes. (laughs) Yes, it is a berry. But I wanted to branch out and bring you something new. Cherries. But not your boring average old cherry. All right, here, come here. Put the mic down by the bowl here. Yeah, there you go. You hear that? There you go. (laughs) Those are Jerry's Dictionary Cherries. They're amazing. Don't ask me where I got them. I grow the berries, and you grow your vocabularies. Here, check this out. I know what magnanimous means. It's an adjective meaning generous or forgiving, especially towards a rival. Magnanimous. That's incredible. Jerry's Dictionary Cherries will make you sound like you know what you're talking about. I love this little chatty cherry. Ever wonder what omnipotent means? It's an adjective meaning unlimited power, often used to describe God. Omnipotent. That's amazing. See, I love big words, and I love delicious fruit. Sometimes God is described as omnipresent, another adjective that describes how he is in all places at the same time. Great. And don't forget omniscient. Yeah. That's an adjective meaning knowing everything. Love those omni words. You're so smart. Okay, all right, all right, Cherries. Real nice. We we get it. Uh, Real big words. Yeah, we're talking. I learned 20 words in German yesterday, too. You think you're better than me? Try Jerry's Dictionary Cherries. They're not scary. Stupendous, everyone. Do you ever think about who the strongest people in the world are? I think of people like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, John Cena, Vin Diesel, just these muscly guys. I actually used to think that my dad was the strongest person in the world. And I told him that and he he corrected me. He said, Josiah, I'm not actually the strongest in the world. That title belongs to God. And I remember having a really tough time wrapping my mind around that because I didn't understand if God is the strongest person in the world, how could he have a relationship with me? How could he know and care about me? But then I started to learn more and more about him, who he is and what makes him God. And so I wanna share a little bit of that with you today. There are three characteristics that we can use to describe God. The first is he is omnipotent. Now, what does that mean? It means he is all powerful. He is stronger than Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's stronger and more powerful than anyone ever before. He is all powerful. He created this earth. He created you. The second thing is, is he is omnipresent. Now, what does that mean? It means he's everywhere all at once. He's with you right now. He is with you everywhere you go, whether it's school or home or church, he is always there with you. And the third thing he is, is he is omniscient. Now, that just means he is all knowing. He knows everything that there is to know and that there ever will be to know. He knows what you're gonna get on your tests and he knows how many hairs are on your head which is kind of crazy for me to say because I have a lot of hair on my head and he knows the exact number of hairs on my head. Because he knows you, he loves you, he created you, and he's invited you to become a part of this journey. And what we are called to do is to take that next step, to become more and more like him. 
because he's invited us to be a part of this plan. He loves you. Since we're talking about God's big perspective, we are going to be doing a challenge that alters the way that we see things. We have these distortion goggles that we are going to wear and they mess with our vision. And we are going to try and make our way through this obstacle course in the best time. And at the end of the obstacle course, we also have this soccer ball that we have to kick into the net and try to knock over as few pins as possible. Are you ready, Jamie? Tricky, tricky, I am ready. Let's do it. Oh my. I should take these off. Oh, really? Oh, yay, it's a party! This is fine. Jamie, are you ready? Uh, I think I'm ready. All right, take a half step back. Oh, because I am on my mark now. There's five of them. <laughs> on your mark, get set, go! Go! All right. Da -da. Uh, okay, yeah, you're da -da. doing great, Jamie. You're making your way through. And, and, oh, okay, and oh. you, oh, oh! Oh, no! Oh, no. Okay, very gentle. Yeah, you're Stealthy. doing great. Stealthy. You, oh, wow. Okay. All right, here we go. Big high steps. Big high steps. All right, dance your way through this next part. There you go. Very nice. Dance your way through. I can't see this one. All right. There's a few of them. You feel the rhythm. Jamie, kick. All right. Hey, oh, my goodness. You did. I actually knocked over one. Yeah. All right, there's like eight cameras. We have so many cameras on this shoot. Well done, Jamie. Okay, Ricky, it's your turn. You ready to go? I'm ready. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, that's good. Ooh, I like this little side angle action. That's working, it's working. That's good. Oh, 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 oh. no, 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 don't, don't switch up your method. Oh, whoa. Extra points for athleticism. Okay. Save your energy because you're about to enter the dance zone. No. Okay, that's right. Um, All right, dance zone. You gotta do a little dance in the dance zone. Oh no! Oh my goodness! Oh you! Oh no! Sorry. All right, just two more obstacles and then the soccer ball. Nice. Okay. Oh, you knocked over a few. I did it! I did it! Did I win? <laughs> I have some really good news for you. The same God who created the cosmos, who can see it all at the same time, and who knows each and every star by name, sees you. And he says that you are infinitely more valuable. When I was a kid, I wrestled with doubts about God and eternity and what he really thought of me. And something that made a huge impact on me was actually watching a documentary about the vastness of the universe. It was like the producers of this show were taking a camera lens and slowly zooming it out. They started with Earth, the little planet that we live on. And they zoomed out to our sun and some other stars in our solar system. Then they looked at the entire Milky Way galaxy and then other galaxies that we know about and clusters of galaxies that are billions and billions of light years away. And the point that they were making in all of this was that even though you and me are not even a microscopic blip on the universal radar, God still chose to come to Earth for us. In fact, when Jesus was here, he cared a lot about making sure that we know how God sees us. He wanted us to understand that this incredible heavenly perspective was actually within our reach because God was here with us. And he wanted to teach us how to see the world the way that he sees the world. He wanted us to see the people in our lives the way that he sees them. The people like our neighbors and our siblings and the kids that we go to school with every single day. He wanted us to have a heavenly filter and perspective. And he wanted us to see ourselves the same way that God sees us, as infinitely valuable. See, we matter to God. And because of that, we have identity, purpose, and belonging. And that is a perspective worth sharing. The same God that created us created the stars and put them in their place. So for round two, we are going to try to toss these stars into this galaxy over here 
putting them into their place. I won round one mm -hmm. because I had the quicker time. And now let's see who's going to be victorious in round two. All right, we got to throw them into the giant galaxy while wearing the goggles. All right, Jamie, I think you can do this. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the confidence. Oh, very oh, good. Oh, yeah? Did one go in? It made it through. Oh, oh <laughs> oopsie. Yeah. I was trying to make it into the three. Oh, wow. Those goggles are... Oh, wow. no! You are hitting the, the oh, perfect no. center. Doing a really great job. I am not doing a great job. I'm not making it in. No, if, if this were like darts, you'd be doing great. Oh, man. Oh, man. Jamie, try... I hit on the stars! You hit almost every single one square in the middle. Yes? All right, it's Ricky's turn. All Let's right. Let's see how you do. Let's see. Throwing star. Oh, you made it in. Okay, great. I'm going to go for yeah, the three. Yeah, try to do the same. Oh, okay. Uh, All right, still good effort. Ah. Uh, uh, A little bit farther. This is good. Oh, okay. It went over. I mean, oh, it went over. that showed your athleticism. Okay. Oh, it went in. Two. You have two. All right. Ah. Uh, Ah. 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 Okay. Oh, no. no! Okay. How many more? Three! Okay. All right, last one. Last one? Ah. Ah. Oh, that was so close. You got three. Ricky wins! Hooray! <laughs> bring out that pile of money! Bring out that pile of money! Woo! Are they bringing it out? Where is it? Are they bringing it out? Anybody? Hey guys, it's Jerry with Jerry's Fairy Berries. And uh, I'm having a sale. Everything must go. Because it turns out Jerry's Dictionary Jerry's, great idea, taught all the other berries how to talk. <laughs> so now I've got way too many talking berries. It's a non-stop gab fest. None of it makes a lick of sense. And old Jerry here isn't getting any sleep. I just got big And now I'm a player. I'm a player. Blue won't hush. Well, essentially, my screenplay rejects traditional storytelling to showcase the impermanence of produce, but it's also about, like, treasure hunting, you know? What does that even mean? Impermanence is an adjective. No! Fleeting. No! And treasure hunting. Oh, is I enough. know what treasure hunting is. This guy like. Enough! Enough! Try Jerry's Dictionary Cherries. They're not scary. So does this make Jerry our dad or? Through Jesus, God showed us that his size isn't something he uses to keep us at a distance. God is close and he's present when you need him. You can put your trust in him. You can give God control. You can let God guide your life and teach you to see the world the way that he sees the world. His vision isn't galaxies away. In fact, his better view is within reach. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Ooh, ah. Oh, putting on these goggles really changed the way I saw things. Can you imagine seeing the world the way that God sees the world? I mean, he has such a unique perspective as our creator. But he doesn't keep the view to himself. Yeah, as big as God is, he still sees you. He's with you. Looking out for you. Guiding every step. You can trust that even though God is big, he is within reach. Hold on to him and you can enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride. All right, Jamie, I'm the winner. Yes. So you have to be the human disco ball. What? God sees the big picture. What is one way this week that you could see the world the way God sees the world? Where can you partner with God to make somebody's week better? Would you pray with me? God, we just thank you so much. Lord, that right now you are with us. God, that you are encouraging us. 
And Lord, I just pray that for everybody watching, God, that you just open our eyes so we can see the world the way you see the world. God, so we can love others the way you love others. We love you so much. We pray all these things in your son's name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I wanna encourage you, go out and see the world the way God sees the world. Love somebody differently because that's how God loves us.